Michael Irvin, the playmaker, on first take as he is every Monday with Stephen A. Smith, talking about the Cowboys, saying, get your Super Bowl tickets ready now. I want everybody out there, Cowboys Nation, I want you to know. I want you to know. Go get your Super Bowl tickets. Oh, God. Go get your Super Bowl tickets. Get them early. I'm trying to help you out right now because I know what it takes to win Super Bowls. I know what it takes to win championships. And I, 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 on every level, on every level, I have won championships. And there are certain things woven through those teams that I see now in the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm telling you, go get your tickets early because we will be in so far. I'm telling you right now. All right, so two things about that. One, my favorite moment of that was here's Stephen A. going, oh, God, which was I think was funny. <laughs> the second is, I don't think he's wrong. This Cowboys team is different. All the things that have plagued them over recent years, and not even that recent, over recent decades, I feel are evaporating. Like, they are the team that whatever could go wrong does go wrong. Well, this past week... They did everything you could do wrong. Penalties, coaching, head scratchers, two turnovers essentially in the end zone, and they won in New England. I know that Brady's not there anymore, but that's still not an easy place to win. It, it's, it's, I understand they're 0-4 at home, so it may sound ridiculous. But look at the teams they've played at home. So I think that this might be the year for the Cowboys. I'm not telling, if I had to bet an amount of money right now that mattered to me on which team is going to wind up in the Super Bowl from the NFC, I would bet it on Brady. I'd bet it on the Bucs because I, I have a hard, fast rule now. I'm never betting against him again. And when push comes to shove, um, when we get to the playoffs, I, I, I will roll with that. But if you told me right now the Cowboys are going to wind up in the Super Bowl, I wouldn't be the least bit shocked. Not the least bit, would you? No, and I hate to admit that as a fan of the Eagles, but there's not, if, if the worst problem on your team is that your head coach sometimes forget how many timeouts he has or what down it is, you've got a really good team. Yeah, now that could become a problem. And, sure. and it, it's not that easy to win in spite of your head coach. But when your coordinators are as exceptional mm. as theirs seem to be right now, you, maybe you can overcome some of that. So let's come to my main man, Bubba, here, who is a crazy Cowboy fan and is on how many consecutive days now of wearing the Dak Prescott jersey, Bubs? I think 17. Ugh. 17 consecutive days of wearing the Dak Ugh. jersey. And, again, they're on a bye, so you have to keep wearing it. That's, uh, this week and then all of next week regardless because it's a bye. Yeah. That's correct. So now we're feeling pretty good about this. When, uh, when you hear yeah. Michael Irvin say that, what is your reaction? I'm looking at I'm looking at plane tickets right now. Let's go, <laughs> playmaker. Yeah, no, I, I agree with them. I think uh, what you're saying too. It's a it's a different Cowboys team. So uh, sorry, Stephen A. But we're going, baby. I think we send Bubba. What do you think of this? If the Cowboys make the Super Bowl, I think we send Bubba. Oh, he's got to go. I, I think we send Bubba. I know that uh, I've been told that we're not. I'm not going. The get up is not going. I just found this out the other day, which is fine. I got NBA stuff. I'd be doing whatever it is. So I'm not going to be in LA for that. But I do think if the Cowboys make the Super Bowl, we should send Bubba. Oh, yeah. Don't you think that's a good idea? There's a chance at that Sounds point like he's, a great idea. Yeah, still will not have washed that jersey. Yeah. You might still be wearing the jersey, and it might still be as soiled <laughs> as something can possibly be, and I will yeah. fully support that. How, does that make any difference what it smells like? Your team might win a championship. They haven't won. How old are you? I am uh, 37. So the last time they won a championship, you were, what, 12? Yeah, roughly. Something yeah. like that? I mean, so... It's been a while. Roughly. So we don't. So, so, uh, so, so, I mean, I'm all in favor of it. Okay. I got one more. You want the basketball one or the football one? I got one more from football. I got one from basketball. Give me the football. The football is Mike Tannenbaum on Get Up With Us This Morning talking about Baker Mayfield and making this point. He hasn't played well, and it's the facts. It's the reasons. He is slow. He ran a 485 in college. He could outrun college defensive linemen. He can't do that. He is short. He is slow. He's going to continue to get hurt, and you cannot pay him. He is maybe the eighth best quarterback in the AFC. All right. So, that I mean, that's it. When he first said it, we all kind of went, whoa. But then I just, as everyone else around me started talking, I just started jotting names down. So let's do it. I'll say a name. You tell me, is he better than, than Baker Mayfield? Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Pa Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Now, I'm not saying repeat the name. Just say yes or no. I'm saying you, the name. But your, your yes, no is unclear. Yes, is he better or not? Is he better than no. Baker Mayfield? No, that was pretty clear. That was pretty clear. Is he better than, than, than Patrick, than, than Baker Mayfield? You're, you, you've got me confused over a simple premise. Is this person better than Baker Mayfield? Okay. Josh Allen. Yes. 
Patrick Mahomes. Yes. Lamar Jackson. Yes. Justin Herbert. Yes. Um, hold on a second. Derek Carr. Yes. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, Joe Burrow. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there's got to be some other obvious ones I'm forgetting. Ryan Tannehill. Is he better than is, is he better than Baker Mayfield? Would you rather have Ryan Tannehill or, or or Baker Mayfield on your team right now? Take contracts and anything else out of it. Ryan Tannehill. What do you guys think? Hembo and, and, and Nuno. Uh, excuse me, Bubba and Nuno. Tannehill or or Mayfield? If Tannehill's the starting quarterback of the Browns, they are a contender yeah. in the AFC. Okay. That's right. I'll take All it, right. Tannehill. So there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. How about Carson Wentz? Would you rather have Carson Wentz or Baker Mayfield? I, I'm asking you. You're the Eagle fan. I would rather have Baker Mayfield. Okay. How about you guys? Yeah, I'm probably taking Baker. Baker. That's a line. That's sort of the inflection point. There. How about, I mean, he's better than Roethlisberger well, at this point, well, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, look, then, then you're getting into these super young guys. So, I mean, Trevor Lawrence, um, uh, Tua, Zach. Mac Jones. Well, Tua, definitely not at this definitely point. Not. No, Mac Jones, too soon to say. So, it's kind of hard to say. None of the guys in Denver. Um, so, that's about right. That's right. But, <laughs> but, but so, that's right. That's ben right. DiNucci. So, are you, <laughs> are you going to pay him like he's an elite quarterback? I mean, are you going to give him elite quarterback money? The debate is not, and this is what happened on TV today, and mm. it kind of descended into the wrong discussion. The discussion is not, are they better off with Baker Mayfield than, a re than what their likeliest alternative is? That's not the conversation. The conversation is, are you willing to pay him to put him in the same financial neighborhood as the Dax and the, you know, all those guys? And I think if you do that, you are potentially putting yourself in a bad place. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.